Welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's French and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, my name is Jenna. I'm a French girl based out of California and I make videos about curating your life French girl style. If you're not yet subscribed, I would love to invite you to subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, my Instagram is at She's French, so just like the channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a fun one, which is actually one of my favorite videos in the world of YouTube. I've always, always loved these, and that's a what's in my bag video. This one's gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna be the minimalist edition. I don't carry a lot in my bag, but I definitely do have the essentials. So first things first, let's talk about the bag. So this is a Chanel Gabrielle backpack. This bag is just, ah, it's just so beautiful. I love everything about this bag. I did so much research prior to getting this because of course this is a major investment. I am so in love with it. I've had it for a few months now and I'm just so happy. I definitely made the right decision getting it. This is my only bag. As a minimalist, I really wanted something that could work for multiple occasions and really be very versatile so that I could wear it in many different ways and not get tired of it. I'm also a mom, so having a little bit extra room now really made sense for me. I used to have a collection of very, very tiny bags, the Jacquemus mini bags. I love them, but I parted with all of them to make this one happen. It also just didn't make sense for me to have a bunch of bags to reach from because if I have one that can do it all, I really won't touch the others. I'm not a big collector. So I would rather part with them and just have the one that I really use. So this is it. This is my only bag and I mean, it's a great one to have. If you're interested in some more details on this bag, I've made a whole video on this bag. I'm gonna link it right there. I definitely did a ton of research, compared it with the size below and so on. And I also made a video talking about some products that I used to clean this bag because I bought this secondhand. It wasn't in perfect, perfect shape, but I found some really great products to take care of it. So I'll link that here as well. But anyway, for today's video, let's get into the contents of this bag. I guess it's very mysterious because you can't really see anything in there right now. So let's go through. <laughs> this is so random. First things first, I have a little cardigan. This is a little Jacquemus cardigan that I'm in love with. This was an Essence exclusive. They did like a whole collection of whites with Essence. So this is from that collection. It has the classic little logo right here. And then it's a mohair material. It's very, very lightweight. And the reason why I pretty much always have this in my bag is because it folds up so small and it comes in so handy. I also think it really goes with everything in my closet. I have a minimalist closet. Everything works together. I can really go in there blind, pick out a couple things and they'll work. So this is a really safe one to bring with me if it ever gets cold. I like to just bunch it up, fold it, and then put it in there if it's perfectly. And also I really like to bring it with because it holds up the shape of my bag too. I ordered a custom bag liner to help it keep its shape but that one is still on the way so for now this is great and if not it's totally fine by itself too this is a slouchy bag it's made to fold on itself and i quite like that look but if i'm carrying the cardigan i definitely feel better about it keeping the shape a little bit next up i have some hand sanitizer a must I think a must for everybody, but also as a mom, a super, super must. My son gets into everything and <laughs> rightfully so, he's got a lot to explore. So I like to have this with me for us, for him, just in general. I really like this one specifically. This is from a local brand called Baby Bum. It's through Sun Bum. They're local to where I live in Southern California. I love this brand. Their products just smell like the beach, like coconut, sunscreen kind of smell. This one smells like that. It's not that like overwhelming alcohol scent. It's really, really nice. I feel better using this near my son and so on. So definitely a great one to have. Next up is a tiny little baby <laughs> hairbrush. This is the GHD mini paddle brush. I love this brush. It's very luxurious looking, but also it works really well. I normally use this with my blow dryer too. I do grab it out of my bag and use it and then throw it back in there for when I leave. Throughout the day, my hair just gets a little bit crazy. So I like to brush it out, keep it nice and smooth, no tangles. Next up is my wallet. This is definitely the tiniest wallet on the planet. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is comparing it to card holders as well. I had a Balenciaga card holder that was very small and this one is a little bit smaller. I went through a phase of just carrying my cards loose but having my Jacquemus bags that are literally this big and open quite wide, I was on the hunt for something that would fit. I came across this one. This is from the brand Matte and Matte. This is actually vegan leather, by the way, and it looks amazing. The quality is beautiful. I love this little wallet. It fit perfectly in the tiny bags. I don't have those anymore, but it is still a great wallet, so I'm using that right now. I would love to get a matching wallet to my bag, but it's definitely not a huge necessity in my life right now. So this one's wonderful for now. It has a little pocket on the back as well if you need to hold more. It holds a good amount, but it's very, very compact. I really think it's the smallest one on the market apart from just having your cards loose. I love this a lot. Next up is some AirPods, a must have. I love these a lot because I find that they fit in my ear really well. The apple shaped ones have always worked really well for me. So obviously these are a no brainer. I really prefer these to the soundproof ones. I really don't like the feeling of the noise cancellation. That's what it's called. I don't know what it is about it, but it makes me feel like I'm like underwater or in space in a fish tank. I don't like it. it makes me feel kind of claustrophobic as well. So I really prefer the first ones. I think these are amazing. I typically will only wear one so that I can still hear out of my other ear. I don't like to be fully deep in the sound zone. So these are great. I really recommend them. They're also the most affordable, but I think they're amazing. Right now, headsets are really, really popular. Everybody's wearing the Apple one and I'm not gonna lie, it looks beautiful. I'd love to try one but i definitely am really happy with these for now so maybe it'll be on my radar in a little bit but for now these are great i recommend them next up we have my essential lip products and you guys this is so funny there's definitely a color theme to my life and that's just very neutral i think so far everything in the bag goes together which is so ridiculous but i think it kind of happens on accident when you're so deep into that minimalism lifestyle and you've really figured out what works for you i think you naturally gravitate towards things that kind of work together so this is really funny but anyway these are my lip essentials first one is a banana lip balm you guys, this is really funny. I don't like bananas as they are themselves as the fruit, but I love banana scented products, which is so strange. Um, it definitely has that more artificial smell to it than a regular banana, but it's like my favorite thing. My body lotion smells like banana. This is banana. Olive Zen's little baby products, they're the same brand. They smell like banana as well. I'm just obsessed. It is the best scent in the world. So this is a little banana chapstick. I love this one. I like the ingredients that this brand uses as well. And by the way, this is a more natural brand, so I really, really like that. I then have my trusted Merit lip oil in the color Bel Air. This is honestly a sheer color, but it has a little bit of like a gold flake kind of effect going to it. It's very, very subtle, but I love it. I go for the chapstick if I want a little bit of moisture, but if I really want deep moisture, I go for the lip oil. This one's amazing because it's not sticky. I'm just obsessed with it. 10 out of 10. And then I have my trusted MAC Aloof lipstick. I talk about this one all the time. You can't find it anymore. I'm obsessed with it. I desperately need to find a good dupe. I would love to find one from a natural brand. If you have recommendations, let me know, but this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And it's actually what I have on right now. I literally just put a tiny bit in the middle of my lips and then just press them together and good to go, just like this. Mm -hmm. I like really subtle natural makeup, so I don't like to do a full lip. Also, it means that I don't have to keep up with that lip and I can eat, do whatever I want throughout the day. I'm not like, oh, my makeup shifted a little bit. I'm very easy going with that. So this is perfect. Just a little bit of moisture on the lips, this in the middle, good to go. I bring it to reapply, but it's more so if I remember. And then last but not least, a black mask. And that is it. That is everything in my bag. I'm obsessed with this bag because it's so roomy. It holds everything I need it to. I never have to like compromise on things. And keep in mind, I'm a minimalist. So I don't hold much. But now that I'm a mom, I like to have that opportunity or option to hold more if I need to. But I also do carry a mom bag. It's like really this much stuff. There's not much. So don't worry. I'm not cheating you guys when I'm like, this is the perfect bag. It holds everything I need. Meanwhile, I have a whole other bag. It's not the case. It's strictly Zen stuff. If you'd like to see that, let me know. We've really made it work for him in a minimal way, so we don't carry a lot. And I can also talk about the different stages of the mom bag because it's definitely gotten more minimal. I used to hold a little bit more when he was younger, but 
Overall, it's always been just a little bit, which is really nice. It's so nice not to have to carry a big bag around. So yeah, I'd love to film that for you guys. So let me know if you'd be interested. And I would also love to know, let me know in the comments, what is your essential thing that you need to carry around with you for your everyday life? I would love to know. I think that for me, it would be that little cardigan, which is so random, but it's come in handy so many times. I love that I have something that can scrunch up so small and get stuffed in my bag and it just goes with everything too. It's so handy. I'm the kind of person that always gets chilly, so love that for me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please, please, please subscribe and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah.